רונית אטיאס, שלום. היי. And welcome to Culture Buzz. Nice to be here. רונית, you are one of the best mosaic artists I know. Thank you. And recently, you have started uh, a new initiative, which is highly interesting, called Amen for You. And on the wall, we see one of your creations, truly magnif- magnificent, if I may say so myself. So, kind. Ronit, how did it all start? Uh, it all started um, when I was invited a few years ago uh, to a wedding with very good friends of mine. Mazal tov. <laughs> um, their son um, married a Jewish girl from, from Belgium. And if I may say so, uh, it's a couple who has, thanks God, everything. And I didn't want to uh, bring them any money, which is very common in Israel, to give as a present to their wedding. And I knew that I wanted to give them the text of the Song of Songs, which has a lot of, if, it's, it's hard to describe, but a lot of benefits in the text for for love, for um, good work, for success. The most important things the in most important that we wish life. ourselves. Wish, we wish ourselves and our friends and, our friends and, and the rest. So I went to a city in, in Israel which uh, has a lot of uh, religious uh, people, to Bnei Brak, uh-huh. trying to find uh, the Song of Songs. The capital of uh, ultra-Orthodox. Ultra-Orthodox. And I was sure I'm going to find this text uh, in order to give them as a present. And surprisingly, I didn't find it. I tried in other places around Tel Aviv. And the, the wedding was almost a week before me. And I decided to do it myself. It means graphically to design it, to put um, a special uh, wish, I mean like the, the names of the bride and the groom. Um, and I did it graphically on the computer. And then I printed it on canvas. And um, I wrote them on a paper because they are not religious. This couple is not religious at all. They know the text, they know the, the Song of Songs, but they, I don't think they, they know the deep and the meaning of the text. So I wrote in, like, like we speak on uh, in the slang or in the street, what's the meaning of the Song of Songs? And I, I waited for a feedback. That was my present. And um, the feedback was that they um, hang it on the living room. And that was not the only feedback. Six months afterwards, I was uh, dining with my friends who are the parents of the, of the groom. And uh, the father of the groom told me that I did a very special and unique present to his uh, son, uh, and of course the, the bride. And it was very significant, significant for, for me since this man came from a very traditional Jewish home. Uh-huh. He, left, he left when he was a teenager uh, the religion, I mean, pra- practi- practicing the religious. He went to the Kfar Ayarok, which is an education in Israel, very free spirit, if I may say so. A bit agricultural. Now he's in the diamond industry. He's respecting, of course, the, the religious and everything, but he has nothing, if I may say so. He's not practicing it. What we call a secular Jew. Yes, that's... That's, that's true, and he said that I did him, a ve- his son, a very special gift. So I understood that I succeeded in what I wanted in um, passing the text, the, the idea of the text, the, the words in the text, without uh, the, the importance, if it's religious or not religious. I mean, the text, 100% by the definition of the text. Not if now that the Song of Songs is the most holy 
text in the Jewish religious, which is it, which is it. Dressed in a very beautiful artistic cover. Yes, and when what, what I decided to do is I started to collect Jewish text, um, blessings, mostly blessings, in order to be uh, uh, possible for people to give as a gift in special events, like a newborn child, girl, or, or, or a daughter, uh, which I find special text. It took me some, some time to find the text, because it's not that I opened the internet and I could find everything in the internet. I had to buy a lot of books and to study a lot in order to find the right text to the right event. Sounds like almost academic research. Uh, almost, Dig I did. Very deep. I ran, I, I worked on it uh, more than uh, almost uh, more than a year, wow. almost eighteen months, and um, I went. We went out because we worked as a team. I took some uh, illustrator and people who found who, who uh, was uh, in Betzalel and Machon Avni, who are artists also, because my passion. I'm, I'm a mosaic artist, in, in basically, but my... There is even a book. Uh, thank you. Teaching people how to... Thank you. Try and imitate what you are doing. Thank you. And my advantage is, I think, uh, my um, possibilities on a gift of God that I received to um, create a product. That, that's, that's my passion. passion. Passionate, if I can, 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 can say so. And I, um, I did, in order to be this product to reach a lot of people, I did also uh, um, three kinds of products. Uh, some of them are printed on a very special paper, um, which are the pro product less expensive, so I can reach via this project a lot of people, because I don't want people to say it's very expensive, so we cannot offer it. We can't afford it. Afford it, sorry, to other people, thanks. And then I did a highly price, which some of the pro products are printed on leather. Wow. So a lot of kind of, of leather, all of them are kosher leathers. This is very interesting because this is how, by the way, they still do write the holy texts. On leathers. On leather. Of course, the product is more expensive. But it's unique because the weather, it, once you're working with weather, each time you have another result, which you cannot print, print it on, on paper or on canvas, you, you will not have the same uh, effect. And we are going to limit each blessing and each design uh, for a, uh, an amount of products like 100 or 200. And once we are going to achieve this number, we are going to stop this blessing and going to design it in another way. Interesting. Yes, that's, that's the, the design and the artist part which go into the product. product. We have all kinds of um, sizes and um, it's, we can also, if, if people want to write a special uh, say to, the, to the, the dearest, for example, the name of the newborn, or the name of the groom, or the bride, or if, for example, there is a special uh, birthday, like 50 years or uh, years old, of a person who is 70 years old, what you are giving as a present to a person who is 70 years old. So you can give him, you can bless him, that he will have a lot of years to, uh, to live. So we have, for each event, we have a special blessing. So in addition to the old and very familiar texts, there is the possibility to personalize the blessing or the good wish. Yes, that's, that's the idea behind it. And uh, of course we are going to, with the time, uh, bring other artists into this to illustrate more, more blessings and uh, to also to bring another graphic to the, to the blessing and of course we are going to, to bring other blessings into the project. Wonderful. I visited your uh, site. It's beautiful. Thank you. And I wanted to ask, uh, normally in Israel the texts will be in the Holy Bible language, which means Hebrew. 
But is it possible also to do similar works in other languages? Because I know that you have been almost all over the world and you speak more than one language. Uh, that's a very interesting question. Um, the idea is that the Jewish sources are in Hebrew. So the idea behind it is that the blessing will stay as it, in, is. As it is in the Hebrew, the way it's written in the Jewish sources. Mm. I cannot change it. It won't be the same. The um, energy that goes out through the blessing won't be the same if I will translate to Spanish or to French or to Portuguese. What I'm what we are doing is, for example, if you want to personalize it and to write to the per to write a, a special wish to a person who speaks French, we will add it to the blessing in Hebrew, the wish in French or in Portuguese or another language. But for me, it's very important to stick to the um, sources and to stay in the language which is written, which is Hebrew. And as an artist you can uh, recognize in the ancient Hebrew letters some energy and some power that you don't find in foreign languages. This is what you are trying to tell us. That's true and it's written also on, on, on the website uh, that there is special energy in the words, in the, in the letters in Hebrew. And I want this energy to be um, uh, to, pa to pass it to the to the person who receives it. And there is a belief here, a strong belief that this is possible. Yes. And when you believe, that's that's the secret behind it. And if Eliezer Ben Yehuda is looking down on us, <laughs> he is smiling a, a big, a very big smile now, listening to you. Thank you. Because we know how important Hebrew, Hebrew. was for him. And and I, I think also for someone who speaks Spanish or Portuguese or French or English. I think even a person who don't speak Hebrew also recognize and appreciate the language of Hebrew, which is the, the language from, I mean, that's, that's the beginning of the world. So I, I think also people who are not speaking Hebrew are respecting yes. the language even without understanding every word. And what, sorry, what I try to do for the time being, we started and translate and explaining every blessing in the website into English and we will translate it but also in the future to Spanish and French and other languages. We'll go step by step. And basically, if one thinks about it, this is how it should be because this is the language of the book, of all books, the cradle of civilization. That's true. Someone I don't know statistically, but I think it's the, the, the most, Bible, the most Bible, sold book, the best even seller, today. In the, the best seller in the world. Absolutely. And there is a reason for that. Yes. And um, as an Israeli, I was born, I was born in Israel, and uh, that's my mother tongue. It's true. I know other languages, but I didn't grow in a, in a religious family, and the respect I have for the for for books, for the word. Because that's what, how I was educated. That if you say something, something, you have to stand behind your word. You have to read because books are the best friends, and you are learn, you are learn all the time. You are learning through books, and that also helped me a lot in order to arrive to this project. The famous saying: "You say what you mean, and you mean what you say." And you add to this a beautiful artistic uh, cover. And here comes the question, if I may. I know it might be a sensitive issue. Because on the one hand, we have your beautiful art. And on the other hand, we have, and this we know from all over the world, the difficulties of connecting between the artistic side and the commercial side. And it seems to me that this is an attempt to merge the two. What I did, it's true, because when what I did in, in this product, it's it's a kind of blend. I will, I will explain myself. Please. 
Uh, I started as an artist in the field of mosaics. I used to live in Europe for many years, and when I was in Spain, you know, I was in Barcelona, I was <laughs> very enthusiastic about Gaudí, and I went to learn in the University of Art mosaics. And after a while, I started working in mosaics in Belgium, in Brussels, and I had a studio in Brussels, and I participated in some museums showing my works in mosaics, uh, in the saint Contenaire, in the Musée de Tram. And then when I came back to Israel, I had uh, my own studio in Yafo, and I worked for a few years in mosaics, and also developed uh, products as a presence to the American market. And uh, I have to say that the, the gap between working in the mosaics, especially in the mosaics fields, which is very specific, and selling it, the gap between the hours you are working and what you will receive as um, a way to live and to, to, to rebuild uh, your, your art, there is a huge gap. And life through this, uh, the fact that I wanted to bring a simply present, that I was thinking that it's very important, I understood that I can combine the two. On one hand, as you say, I can um, continue on my passion to develop products and to do design and aesthetics things, and uh, on the other hand, be able to sell them and to arrive to a lot, to a lot of people. And that's the blend between the two things. So basically, what you have managed to do has to do with balance. You have reached the point of balance. Yes, I think so. I think that's, that's the moment. So frustration is behind us. Behind us. And we look forward optimistically. Of course, of course. That's, that's the idea. So what can we wish, Ronita Tias? Um, you can me wish me that uh, the blessings of a man will... Uh, be able to uh, be given from people to the dearest um, all over the world. And there is no question if they are Jewish or not Jewish, that the, the meaning behind the words, the energy behind the words is the most important thing because you are wishing only good things to the person which is your dearest. That's, that's the idea. Ronita Tias, the only thing we can say after listening to you, and I think it will be very appropriate, is one word. Amen. Amen. Toda Raba. Toda Raba Shalom. Toda Raba.